Okay, hi, Accorda. Uh, to fall to roll, go Iha Olish, uh, uh, and Kerba. Uh, you're very welcome to Klaus and Kerba's open night for the incoming uh, first year's uh, or next September crew, I suppose, to have starting with, with us. Um, so, Erdus, to see Inta, could she live, could she have Lynn or Lina, Bravaling, Okada, we're going to get in the Kela, but just more tall, ready, Bokhmi, because she needs to have all to Ian of Marsha. So uh, it's great to have you with us. Um, we'd certainly love to have everybody together in the same hall. And uh, but at the moment, just with the way things are and uh, taking things on the safe side, we decided to to run with an online version of this event tonight. We will be running in September once the students have started in the school. After about three or four weeks, once they're settled in, and I suppose you're seeing little things that you're not sure of, um, we will be organising an information evening then um, uh, for parents. And it makes more sense at that stage because you'll understand the running of the school. You'll understand maybe the the difficulties and the difficulty, the challenges, and then do along to an adult. And then it'd be a good time to have another information session <coughs> to answer any questions at that point. So I'm just going to make sure that you can all hear me correctly. So on the right hand side, there's a, a Q and A. If anybody there could put a thumbs up there into that uh, column on the right hand side, the, the question and answer. Um, it would be brilliant, at least, and I'd know that uh, you can hear me perfectly. I just might wait for two seconds. <laughs> just checking that you can all hear me there. So it is uh, on the right hand side where you can uh, you can also ask some questions which might be helpful during the information session and then I'll be able to answer those at the end of the night. OK, <clears throat> so go a second. We're just going to wait two more minutes and we'll see if we get a few more people in. OK. Yeah, OK, brilliant. Do you great? OK, yes, yes, we can hear you. OK, Intuk. OK, so let's tell me can do score less and you have a great life to bring them. To me, Kassak to show us me feel a Kassak to Hilla, but to me, Reagan is so got in a little. Yeah, Intuk. So uh, I'm pretty good now, I suppose, enough. What is it about? I suppose it's a chance for you as parents, as Quaid Nori guardians, as mamos, dados, grandparents, uh, but most importantly, I suppose I'm hoping that an adult that who I've met, I've been in your schools, and this is your chance, I suppose, to uh, for us to give you some information about the school and, and what you what you'll see. And I suppose for me, you know, an adult is Jack, it's Jack is Jack. They are our greatest potential, okay? And the role I suppose uh, I have as principal and the teachers who are with me here is, I suppose, is to develop these students along their road in Clashton and Kerba, and we look forward to doing that. Um, yeah, tonight I hope we can answer as many questions uh, uh, as possible. Uh, thank you. I was going to make a little in a Lena Shockin survey. So anybody who, who got a chance to link it, to fill in that survey, I have incorporated any of the questions into the presentation tonight. And equally, as I said, on the right hand side, if you have any further questions, and you will, no problem, uh, put the questions in on the right hand side. We'll do our best to answer them at the end of the presentation. And if we don't have the answer, I'll come back to you. OK, um, and up by Kubli Dini Kaimt Liv, by Michal Markhan, and Shaw Egan second. August Tau, Tau, Michal Mar Kanner Blina. That's the year ahead for the incoming first years. So Michal will be in charge of all four classes. We have four classes coming into first year next year. And uh, I suppose he has a team of people with him. He has Idi Rana, which are form tutors, uh, who will meet students every week. And then Michal is there as the liaison person for any issues that you might have 
um, in relation to something happening at school. Also, Owen de Blockham, um, Prevet at Tornestruck, the last Prevet, the Deputy Principal, will be speaking to you about, the, I suppose, the normal things that happen in school, lockers, uh, canteen, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff, which are very, very important. Um, uh, and then we also have Leona de Borkenshaw, a Thai kind of in Takir Folman, so the learning support, uh, equally a very important part of the school. And I suppose she'll be going through, you know, uh, how she gathers information and how we create, you know, kind of profiles of students and where we can help students along the way. And that's very important. And then again, there are big Misha Chakta Rash, a Glaurit Lib Arish. So look, Shinna Maid Wemshire, that's all for me at the moment. I'm looking forward to talking to you near the end. Uh, I hope you find this interesting. I hope the students, most importantly, this is the reason we're talking to you, is Donna Dalti, that we should see she's on Shin and just go desh give, I suppose, fakent Ernadini toss a skull. You know, I was going to make Dish and Shin Bull and then the Dish Shin again and Cooper Shockton. Okay, so I'm going to pass you over to Michal, uh, Michal uh, Markagon, who is a cannibally in the year head, and he'll be going through a number of slides and some information. Okay. Carmagathon. Okay, so I'm August to make Sul Gamor uh live a call, going in the scullery and the posti. Uh I'm the year head, as Owen mentioned there, for the first year's uh, incoming next year. Uh, just a bit about myself, I'm a physics teacher here, uh, walking, working in Galoshna Kurba with uh Gem Lean and Isha Life. About ten years I run the rowing club in the school. I'm the counter of Lena for Blina three in Lena, and uh, as mentioned there, I'll be taking on Blina Hain of being Chug and Mouth, follow Blina Hain uh, all the way through to um to third year. Um, so, Cooper, I suppose, a Hedrod no, um, Kedem Morol, Tom and Chin, Mark Kunov, August Kord, August Tour Hort. So, you know, advice and help and support to students, any students, picker who are struggling or any difficulties, I'd be the, the contact person there. Um, and fresh from Tom and Mark Naskid and Skull of Zambalia. Now, the one thing I would say is if there's a specific issue with a particular subject, then the first port to call there is the Mutra Mata five or that that you wonder about. But if there's something like a pattern in subjects or there's a student is generally struggling or if there's a kind of interpersonal issue, then uh, make sure they're that August second through and chin. You can see my email down at the bottom, Mia.markon at UE to be. And just about communications with the school, we have a very uh, powerful platform, MS Teams, which all students we have an account on. And that's a very useful way from, for students themselves to make contact with the teacher um, you know, within working hours and uh, and all those kind of conditions. But it's also a way that the parents, if you want to log into Teams, you can do it on a computer, on a phone. And that's another way where you can ask a question directly to a teacher. Um, or the other way, of course, is to ring the uh, ring the office and ask for a teacher to contact you back. And within a few days, they'll be able to contact you if you have a particular issue with a with a particular uh, topic. But any other general issues, then you could contact me or the or the office. Um, okay, Kerdela. I suppose in Kerdela now, I'm Kerdela of Scullia. So by the Scullia of Tusnu and Shaw, Aaron Shea Law Ahead, so the 26th uh, of um, August quarter to nine, uh, they'll be by themselves, as in there'll be no other students there. So it'll be just the first years to get them a chance to get used to the school and and get comfortable and get get to know the some of the people and their fellow students and the teachers. By the bull lesson, the canary ranga August the edgy ranga. So each class, so there's four first year classes. Each class will have a, a, a an edgy rang, the the class tutor, and they meet with them. There'll be a short terrace scully and chin around the can physical around the physical school and then Cooper Cliffy just some games to to um to make them relax and comfortable in school and the timetables would be the other thing that'd be given out. And that that day would last from quarter to nine until uh, 1355, which is the normal Friday timetable. Um August the reach Martha in Kesh target if you make questions just type them into the chat box there and Owen and myself will uh, will respond when, when we get a chance. Um, I hear the develop all of the now in course on Prescolia, so we went to Keshner show. There were a lot of questions on this, and that came in of the survey. So we just decided uh, on gathered some information here on uh, transport school for people who would be who would be um coming by bus. 
Um, this PowerPoint slide, this slide will be shared with you after the uh, after the session. So all these links here will be available to, to click on. So just briefly, um, I suppose important things are the closing dates from Dr. Duna Lahai on um, application is Jahina, the fr Friday the 29th of April. So that's fairly soon. So make sure you get that application number for that, that date. Uh, here's a link to the, um, you can see it there, I'm not sure the mouse, no. So there's a link there halfway down the page, which will, uh, you can click that to do the applications. And the custis is 3k quig euro per dinner, but the fact the maximum that a family will pay is 6k quig, and the invoice is in the first week of July, and the payment done by the end of uh, of July. So a reasonable to catch the stage occur to the Jaguarin, but the information is available in all these links here. Um, okay, so here the lunch in now on uh, on law school, yeah. So what kind of timetable is students following? A lot longer, of course, than a. Uh, than primary school, um, so that will take a bit of getting used to maybe. Um, but again, we start off the first week, you know, it's really just the, the teachers get to know the students and the students get to know the teachers and the uh, and each other. So, so Nico and Mohane school are bored. They shouldn't be worried at all about, uh, you know, about being overloaded or anything. Uh, so, okay, the first thing is the class are in or fleet. OK, a new thing in our school just tried it a couple of years ago. We've moved to um, to one hour classes. They used to be 40 minutes and that gives a great opportunity to, to get more work done to do a variety of tasks in class and it's working out really well. So we're going to continue that. Um, so at off the Karaki week, talk all around. So two classes, 8.45 to 9.45 and then 9.45 to 10.45. Then to sus kujignomid, 15 minute break. Another two classes. Sus so, lahai loan lunch break and change karakinomid, or just change the whole round led ergera, and then quick image a kujeg feha. Oh, don't worry about the strange. Um, we don't round off to fifteen thirty to its complicated timetable timetabling issues, but uh, half three is is when we finish. Uh, so that's Jalun Gujardin, uh, Monday to Thursday. As mentioned, on Friday finish a little bit early uh, for the weekend, so that's five to two on a uh, Friday. Okay, so Rish, modulation head law school. On the first day, all the students need to bring is some copies, uh, hardback and soft, maybe one or two of each, and then some pens and maybe a pencil. So that's all that needs, as mentioned, we won't be doing a huge amount of work. And um, the um, school, uh, the Lower List, the, 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 um, the book list, We'll be going out around the start of uh, uh, May, maybe after uh, August. Uh, there'll be plenty of time then to, to buy the, the books that will be needed. And most of the books will last from first year through to third year. Um, so it, they are quite expensive at the start of first year, but again, in, in second year and third year, there won't be many additional requirements. Um, OK, Kestela being on. Another question we get very often is, is about food. OK, so for canteens, it's called Shurudinto. Uh, so hot food is available every day. Um, and, you know, we, we try to encourage always healthy food. So if and then, of course, there's uh, lots of space for students to eat their own uh, lunch. So we encourage students, to, most students bring their own food as well. And again, we'd emphasize uh, healthy food um, as much as possible and try, try to avoid the fizzy drinks, sweets and chocolate. That's my shinja. Um, OK, so Shin Amage really at all, Lara Wemshire, to make on Shiva her and pass you over now to uh, own the block of our uh, uh, last privilege. August, just a quick new ball and raw. Uh, my really excuse, uh, really looking forward to meeting all the students uh, and the staff and getting to know you over the next couple of blame. OK, so all the morning. Shin, come on, let's talk. OK, come on, Margaret, Michal, August, to me, dear, come to a Karaganish. Uh, go own as a own the block. Michelle sure last last previous in Scotland, the deputy principal own is here as well. And he's going through a few more slides as well. So own I'm doing Shane or Lena talk. Talk Tom and John. Good Super talk to be yeah. own ish. You're live now and uh, and hopefully you'll see on slide and Shane. Into good morning Don. So I'm already on Shane Smith on last three by just Scotland. Um. Kosla Miel to Mrs. Colpis Vadimish, who blend the Jag Numershin, Munchor, Omdurcht, Tonum, Ach, Cobra Marlestri, which initial a couple of blame. So, um, just uh, I've been in the school for about 15 to 16 years now, and uh, I'm a woodwork teacher and um, acting deputy principal now for the last two years. So, uh, 
very welcoming uh, again this evening. Um, I'll just go through a few few uh, bits there. So, as uh, Michal said, like the first thing when um, your son and daughter comes into us on in August is they will meet with Canary from Blina Coog. Um, so it's like um, a, a buddy system. So they will work with the students and um, work with them and introduce them to uh, the school, bring them around on a tour in the school. And um, they will also do classes for the first couple of weeks um, with the students. And um, I suppose it works. We find that it works very well because um, students might be a bit nervous about approaching the teacher, but they'd be more comfortable with their peers. So, you know, they'll ask questions more handier and um, they will be able to get the answers then from our cannery in Plaine So uh, along with that, then they will meet up with their Ejiranga. So Michal mentioned that as well. So the Ejiranga is a, a form teacher. So they'll have a class once a week with the form teacher. Um, and it's just basically touching base and there'll be uh, SPHE will be covered as well. But it's a really an opportunity to touch base with the class tutor and, as I said, in the cannery for the first few weeks of the new term. And then uh, we have a pastoral care team then, uh, which comprises of Michal there and we have our school counsellor and Leona, who you're going to meet now shortly. Um, was for the Takich Folum. So, um, like we meet, obviously we're discussing students every day, all day, most days, but we have a timetable hour as well to really focus in on anybody who's having any issues. Um, so, like with uh, COVID, it's been a difficult couple of years now socially, and we're just going to be keeping an eye on everyone and making sure everyone is uh, happy and very happy in the, in the school. So um, I just move on to the next slide there on when you get a chance. Um, so the what you see there is the school uniform. OK, so on Eidach Scholar and the school uniform is available in Anthony Ryan's and in the school wear centre. And um, very important that uh, students wear the full school uniform every day. Um, as well as the uniform there, you see Broga Dova. So it's very important that they have the right um, black shoes, uh, wearing the black shoes. And this year we've developed a new top along with um, Anthony Ryan's there. You can see a picture of it on the right hand side there. So uh, it's it's a half zip, it's for PE. Uh, we'd be encouraging students to be using it as well on school tours and traveling to different events. And we look, we think it looks quite smart and we're happy with it. And so we will be using that next year. And so just as you can note there at the bottom, it's very, very important. We, we're in, like we've gone back to full uniform as a result of COVID. We weren't able to have a full uniform, but we have done so in the last couple of weeks. And you really notice uh, around the school and um, it looks a lot better. And so we, we will be um, quite strict on that next year and starting in September. And then moving on to the lockers. So each student will get a locker and they will get a combination lock and will, that will be provided next year. So um, <clears throat> that they will have that then the use of that for the, for the year. And the next thing is the school diary as well, which they will receive the first couple of days. School diary is very, uh, very important communication tool for us. Um, especially between teachers and parents. Parents can get a look at what, what the homework is and if teachers have any, any notes that they need to pass on, there's a section in the, in the, in the diary to pass that on to, to parents and, and vice versa if a parent has a query. Um, so it's very important communication tool. So we, we'd really appreciate if you kept an eye on it nightly. Um, then for Clubney, our Imach the Esh curriculum, so uh, the things that go on outside of school or after school, and um, we have football, uh, Gaelic football, Omanicht, hurling, and um, soccer, Kishfel, and Robicht, as Michal mentioned there, he's uh, very much involved in the Robicht, and um, it's a couple of great clubs there, um, and students again. 
with COVID the last couple last year we didn't have anything going on. It's it's been great this year. So much going on. Um so long may that continue again next year with those clubs. Um that's that's after school. So this training happening um during the week. Um during school then we have clubs running as well during lunchtime. Um you see uh Kyol mentioned there at the top. Um we have a couple of pianos, a couple of guitars around the place. Again, students are um, encouraged and a lot of them are playing music. Then we have a couple of other different corners. We have uh, groups playing board games. Chess is particularly popular with um, fifth and sixth years at the moment. Um, and there's a call in the mock lane there, as mentioned, the Students' Council um, and in Kostya Glass. So, um, there's a couple of clubs that are that are running during school time at lunchtime and organised as well as for certain times during the week. Um, we would really encourage that, that students would get involved in, in activities. It's, it's very important for them. So um, you know, if they are not overly interested in maybe some of the school events after school, it's definitely enough going on during the day. Um, OK, so along with that, then we have um, some music school um, the GRETB have a have a, a school of music which is run on site in Colossus and Akurba. So as you can see, some of the um, instruments played there is the flute, the clarinet um, and so on. Um, Janice in the office is the secretary for the Skull Kjol, the GRETB Skull Kjol as well. So. If you have interested, if you have an interest in some of those um, lessons, you can contact Janice in the office on that. And along with that, you can see music generation as well. So it's a, a Galway music generation use the, our facilities in Kolashnikarba as well. And you can see some of the um, more instruments there that they have available. So that runs from four to six as well. And I might move on there on to the next one. So, like I mentioned there, it's just it's we just feel it's so important that that students get involved. Molinogia was Chukushi and Lagan Goilge, Anna and Tavachtach. I'm just looking at a, a group there in the middle, um, robotics group that I was actually involved with myself. Um, it's just it just creates a great rapport uh, with students and I, some of those students I still see that that happened a few years ago and they've graduated and left the school, but it's just. Um, students are just so happy to be involved in something and they get to see the teacher outside of outside of a classroom setting and just to create that bond and it creates a better atmosphere in the school, a happier student and a happier student re results in, you know, uh, more learning happening in the school. So I, I couldn't, especially after the couple of years that we had as well with COVID, I couldn't emphasize enough uh, how important it is that we join clubs and, and get involved in the school. And um, you know, if there's the next one there on. <clears throat> so just a couple of bit, bit um, a few more bits of information for myself. Um, a loan sculpture. So uh, Michal went through the class um, a timetable there. So first years will be on the same cycle. We have to run a, a split lunch because just the canteen in school is is not quite big enough. But it's it's great then there's so much room for all the students. So first years will be on the same cycle as third years and sixth years. Um, so they have access then to the canteen and they'll have a specific area for first years then for playing. There's a couple of about there's three basketball courts. They have, like I said, inside a particular area and the clubs that are running as well, they can use that. Um, then we would recommend that students would walk to school if, if at all possible and cycle and if, if possible we could we prefer if cars weren't coming through the whole time especially uh, just with our neighbours there in Fauna Borka it's very important that parents uh, don't um, park in Fauna Borka and um, just to make that point very clear and um, so Shane Wemshire Gunna Yenacht and like Owen said, uh, it'd be great. Hopefully we'll get to see you all in September when um, a, you, you'll be in for a few weeks and you might have a few more questions. And again, please God that uh, we'll be away from, it'll be a safer environment as well for everyone to meet up together. 
So, Gramila Magi, Gusta Sula Shevekal, Emil Lona Sinchen, so I'll pass you on to Leona there. Gramado. Okay, uh, second to Mishik Trisha, fresh for second to one, and Shin. Oh, Gumilishka. Shinkakla Gramago to one, Don Peter Shin. Thanks so much for, for that information here. Just two things that I left out rugby as one of our sports in the school, and one or two people have put in the questions, so thanks a million. So, we have rugby, we started rugby this year with our current first years, and they got to a final, and all didn't win it. It was a great journey, uh, and uh, and we're developing that side uh, of it as well. So that's in the school as well. And um, the second thing, as Owen mentioned, the uniform, and we have a new half zip top. And I suppose this is a, a new venture for us. But um, I suppose the important thing with this is, you know, we have students going to PE and going on trips and events, uh, and it eliminates any kind of fashion competition between students. We see that happening where students are coming in, in different tops and, and different outfits for PE, and we want to just eliminate that. Um, secondly, they look very smart, and I suppose we're very proud of the school. Uh, I'm very proud of the students in the school, and I want everybody else to see, you know, how proud we are and how smart we are uh, as a group. Because one thing we certainly have is we have really good students in this school. Their behaviour is A1 whenever we go anywhere. Well, it's nice to kind of show that off as well and let other people see it too, you know. So um, so those tops are available from Anthony Ryan's and we'll be sending out more information about those uh, at the start of May, along with the book list, uh, which will be on the school website. Now, when I put I publish that information on the school website, I will send out an email and a text also to yourselves so that you know the information is available on the website at that stage. OK, so um, our door to Owen and Shane. Um, uh, to Leona Chaktanish, so big Leona kind of been written uh, special to the school, so learning support in the school. Uh, and Leona is the coordinator of this side of the school, uh, and uh, I'll pass it over to her now. And uh, and Leona Tatu and Shane will. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I just bug my rag on the down on, and hopefully, go and make it over. No. Okay, to you. So then we'll shift Gama. Um hope you're all well. Um as Owen said there, I'm the learning support coordinator for the school. Um so at the minute what's happening is that um teachers are collecting as much information as they can um from primary schools and from yourselves to make sure we know as much as possible about the students. Um so you may get a call in the coming weeks. Um if your child has any specific learning needs or any additional needs, um, it would be great if, if you could let us know in advance. If they've ever seen a speech and language therapist, even as a small child, ever had any hearing issues, um, uh, writing, spelling, even if they were sent out for maybe resource in second class or third class, any information at all you have, if you could send it in, uh, it just makes things a lot easier for us because because we're seeing that things are creeping up and good students and good kids and especially girls are very good at masking issues when it comes to literacy they work very hard but what happens when they get older is that we see that they've had a difficulty all along but they've been able to mask it so if you have any doubts at all or if you thought that you think there's any literacy issues um let us know in first year, we run what's called um, a, a new test, which is um, the P, it's called the PPAD E, which was designed by the NEPS um, educational psychologists. And it allows us to collect information uh, regarding your child's uh, English spelling, reading, comprehension, uh, a, a re reading speed, and writing. And um, what we find then is if there's any issues that are any, a score that we find below a certain level, we'll be in contact with you. We might run some more standardised testing and then decide maybe if the child needs to be referred on to an educational psychologist. So our own NEP psychologist um, works for a lot of schools, is very busy. Um, so it tends that, that urgent cases, uh, usually re regarding mental health and um, school refusal tends to take up their time so a lot of the time if you're if you're worried about your child having literacy issues we might recommend that you you would see a private um, educational psychologist but it's all um we don't we talk through it all and go through all of the um the, the services and what's out there and how we can best help your child when it comes to learning support itself 
um, what the department are recommending is that um, that students are in the classroom and that there is least amount of pulling students out for a one-to-one -one tuition and that they get all the help they need from the class teacher and then supporting teachers, team teaching and such. Um, so that's that's where we are headed with that. So just in case you're wondering if your child has been going out for resource and learning support in primary school, there's a chance that that, that might not be the case when they come into secondary school and that we do our very best to provide it within the classroom setting. Um, but again, if anyone has any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, they gave my email address uh, at the beginning. Um, so like I said, we're trying to collect as much information as possible. Um, the school passport. I mean, you know, it got I saw all the in the I guess the legacy. Um, so we we get information from there from talking to you and then any reports or anything like that. So um, we do our best to collect as much as we can. We try to do um, testing uh, at regular stages. So in first year, uh, maybe again towards the end of second year, I'll collect more data and then again, maybe in fifth year. So um, if there is ever doubt, don't hesitate but to get in contact with me uh, and I'll do my best to, to help you out. Um, I think that's that's as much really as as I need to say. Just my daughter, my mother, in Torski, oh, is come a cane each, whatever age your child was at. Uh, if they saw any kind of specialist, it would be great if you could provide us with those reports. Um, so with Sunri Changwa Lanchin, my details are there. Um, a few of you have already sent in um, reports that you had, so come fear of way the shin. And like I said, there might be calls, uh, you might be getting a call in the coming weeks from teachers to, that may be um, to collect any information. So, Gurmi Magi is up to Eishaklam, Agasul, Bulila, Rodalti, and me, Mianfover. Gurmi Okay, Gurmi Magi, the owner, I sat on the whole shin who are doing. Um, thanks, Leona, for that information. And as Leona said, uh, she is, uh, her email is there. Um, we'll be putting this presentation on the school website directly after this pres this information night. Um, so you can look back over the different slides. And if you need to contact Leona or Michal or Owen or myself, look, we're here to help you in any way. Uh, and no question is too small. We all have questions uh, when we're starting something new. Gohar and Adalti, the students themselves, probably have some brilliant questions uh, and uh, we're here to answer those questions. OK, so um, Anish Mahane, I'm going to talk to you now for a short while. Uh, it's uh, 25 to 8, so I hope to get you out fairly soon or get you uh, back to the kettle having a cup of tea. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through a few things here over the next few, uh, next few minutes uh, with you. So really, I suppose, first of all, for me is, you know, you're entrusting your students, your son or daughter uh, to come to this school. OK, and and uh, that's a big responsibility for me. And it's something, you know, uh, is very important to me. So I suppose for my role, I need to uh, I, I need to back up uh, wh wh what you're entrusting me with. And the most important thing for me is obviously if I can look after the teaching and learning, make sure that we have high standard, high quality teaching and learning, highly effective quality of teaching and learning, um, that would help. And we have that. If I can develop a school community, you know, so public scholar that everybody feels involved from the parents, uh, the guardians, to uh, our school cleaners, to our teachers, to everyone, that everybody feels involved in that school community, well, that will help. You know, our school, Kayla Warmi, that we all live in each other's shadow and we all work together, I suppose, is the motto uh, to go forward with the school. Then the moon story, as I said at the start, um, your son or daughter is the greatest potential and that potential is what we want to develop. But my staff, I suppose, are the greatest asset I have and we have excellent staff in this school. Um, and But it's important that we develop and that we're constantly, I suppose, developing our capacity as teachers uh, to be uh, even better or to change as time changes for sure. And then, you know, an atmosphere. Like there's a tough to cool atmosphere in school like that there is a nice positive atmosphere in the school. And we're working on that where we've got piano in the corridor here and we just have music being played at different times, which is lovely. And just as students feel, I suppose, content and happy in this place. 
Now, my speed limit is in the end of, you know, I'm pretty sure then that the, the two key things that I want to really, I suppose, focus on over the next six years will be that the student well-being, you know, uh, will be good and that we do, we develop the students, OK, that they all look forward and analogy that student will develop over the six years in these schools. And with everything, with every school vision and every plan that we have with the school, to on Dalta Salor, OK, so the student is centered to everything. So every decision that I make, um, I try. Yeah, to be fair and be honest and 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 do it for the right reasons. But what is the right reason? Well, I suppose if I have the student at the heart of every decision making, you know, that'll go a long way to making the right decision. And that's, I suppose, the division I have for the Buckley, as in the Colony, as in the Dalty. It's how I chalked this jock and show man for, for the boys and girls and the students coming in here in September. That's what I want to do is make sure that they're at the centre of every decision and hopefully we'll make the right decisions from there. So. To start with that vision and that journey, I suppose what we're introducing this year for the first year is Compet in the Curve. And you would have seen that in the survey. And thank you for uh, yeah, replying to the survey with your thoughts and your ideas. So this uh, Compet in the Curve will start on the 22nd of August, which is a Monday, to the 24th of August, which is a Wednesday. So three days, nice and easy, uh, and approximately from 9.30 to 1 o'clock uh, during the day. Uh, and then they'll be, they'll have no school on Thursday because it's still summertime. And then on Friday, they'll start at their first day of school. So the idea behind, behind this is, I suppose, we're getting the students in. They're getting a chance to, to get to know new friends in a really relaxed, informal, fun environment. To get to know the school, they'll get to meet some of the teachers and some of the cannery corridors, the, 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 the fifth year leaders who will act as a kind of that go between or the support link for the, our new first year students. And I'm pre rud well, I suppose a go rud and show that it's all done through Irish. Look, we're a Gael cluster, we speak Gaelga, and that's really important to us in the school. It's also important for the students to start with the Gaelga, so we can get this camp going and that they come in and they meet their friends through Gaelga, that the, the cohex, that the context has been set for them to just continue that journey through Gaelic, well, the research would say this is the way to do it. And most importantly, I suppose that this is done uh, with fun and just that they enjoy themselves. Otherwise, there's no point in doing this. So that's Company Kerba. Again, we'll be sending out more information about that at the start of, uh, of May, and I'll give you notice of, of when that information is up on the school website. So in relation to the Arbor Scholar, the school subjects, um, every student does Gaelga, Berla, Mata, Oliot, Stadir Gano, Agus, Star. Okay. Uh, then we have optional um, subjects and we have languages. So the foreign languages now Spanish, Spanish, New Frankish, French. Okay. Now, depending on what year it is, there can be more demand for one or the other. Uh, in that case, we do our best to make sure people get the language they want. But please understand that. We have X amount of Spanish teachers with X amount of French teachers, you know, and we can't put more than X amount of students in any one class. If so happens that we have too many students wanting one subject, well, then we bring in a board of management and we do a, uh, we do by a lottery basis. I would say um, whichever language they do, it's just important as a parent uh, to be supportive of them and positive uh, in that regard, and they will do fine. They will do very, very well. OK. They also do uh, Ragnar OSPS, which would be SPHE, uh, and Owen mentioned this a while ago, Social Personal Health Education. This is the class where they have with their class tutor. And they're going through, I suppose, the whole um, development of themselves uh, and, and in that class at different levels, you're talking about uh, society and the role of um, different issues such as drinking and, and drugs and different things as they go and it's all age appropriate. So they'll start at a lower level in first year and SPG will continue up to sixth year uh, where they'll be discussing more, uh, more, I suppose, adult um, teams at that level. They also run, uh, run an OSSP or CSPE, Civic, Social and Political Education. Again, you're looking at, it's an educational class where you're looking at, I suppose, the political systems in Ireland and different countries, uh, what we can do socially around us, uh, discussing the issues, and I suppose have an understanding of, of the world around us. And then fresh and big rang at Corpiticus, so PE classes, 
So this year we're bringing in a second PE class. So they'll have two classes of PE rather than one class uh, in first year. Now, now all of Aranuk, and this is many people uh, wrote in about this in the survey. So now all of Aranuk at Aum, Don Kidney, now Technolift, Imadorot, Alien, Acme Valia, Tirolis, and Graphic Technol, Ags and Kyol, and you'll see the English is, is beside those subjects there. Now, as someone pointed out, it's very hard to make a decision uh, over the summer of what subject you want to do. So what we do is we give every student a two week trial of that uh, subject. So over 10 weeks, they will sample all of these subjects. Uh, and after a period of 10 weeks, then we will be sending information out to ourselves and uh, where the students will need to pick um, what subjects they'd like to continue on for the rest of first year and for second year and up to third year. So what I would recommend is um, we do our best to make sure that if they pick uh, um, two or three subjects that we'll try and uh, get everybody to, to get at least one first preference. We can't guarantee we can give the first and second in uh, for everyone, but that everybody gets their first preference. So you'll have to give the list of first, second, third, fourth preference, and we'll do our best to make sure, you know, as far as we can, Give, give as many of the subjects they want, and sometimes it's the first preference and the third preference. And that is just the way it goes. That's the way the timetable is set out and the number of teachers we have in certain subjects. Um, in September, when we have our information evening, I will be discussing this with Rish uh, again, and I'll be giving you more information about the dates and when they have to choose and what they should be choosing, or maybe a bit of guidance in relation to that. But I won't do that today. I think it's enough just to explain how the process works. Also, Chaktis Jock and Vinci Kogan is Rudnua Darvanum Fulanya Kerike. It's a well being 400. So, I suppose the well being of students is now paramount uh, and it's been acknowledged within the curriculum, the school curriculum. So, um, as part of the survey that you filled in, <coughs> um, parents and guardians came back with different topics that they felt were important for their son or daughter. And from that survey, um, and from surveys in school with teachers and students as well, uh, we're putting together different modules in first year that the students will study. So at the moment it's looking something like, and this is uh, still being worked on, but like uh, bonus to my fame. So managing myself. So looking at how to organize yourself, your timetable, uh, your homework, study skills, and just coping with the range of subjects and and developing, I suppose, kind of uh, resilience within uh, the school system. So every every student will be doing a module on that within first year. Also, again, a lot of feedback uh, uh, looking for something like this on kind of the basics of uh, computers and IT. So in the school, as Michal was saying here, we use Microsoft Teams. Um, so be an Office 365. So every student gets an Office 365 account when they start. They'll have a school email. They'll have, they'll be, each teacher will be setting up Microsoft Teams, which are online, I suppose, uh, um, locations where students can interact with their teacher, work might be left there and where they can upload stuff. So the idea of this game will be that they will spend time, a module, learning how to, I suppose, be proficient in these areas. We'll also have, each class will do uh, a number of weeks on a, a kind of a transition program from the primary school, a settling in program, and that's part of our company curve, which will definitely help them uh, in that area too. Um, we've also, uh, we'll be introducing and we've it in place at the moment, is kind of a meditation Pilates module, which is something different, which is important too, I suppose, just to, to settle the mind as well and to, you know, to change the focus away from uh, the school and the academic side. And finally, something that we brought in this year and we found was very good was a kind of Schilne Kainte Pibli, a public speaking module, okay? And I suppose the reason for this is students now as part of the junior cert must do CBAs, which are classroom-based assessments. These are assessments based on content that they've revised and produced possibly a document or a project, but then they have to be able to give the information back to the teacher. So it's important that we develop their skills and their public speaking skills at, at an earlier stage so that they're capable of doing these CPAs, which happen in second and third year in school. So that's our kind of well-being that we'll be introducing next year as well. On Gael Gernowig Tashifir Hoptuk, it's called Long Gael Gamid, it's called Gael Tuktumid. And to make more quid and scheme at this more school going to this. We're part of a, a recognition scheme as a Gwail uh, school. Um, we're well on the road in this scheme. And I suppose 
the advantage of the scheme is that uh, it allows us to put on extra Irish classes. So students will have an extra class on their timetable called Shge Mahantis, where it just it's there to support students even more with the Irish to make sure that we can all top up and just, you know, uh, help them where they can. It also means we have extra mutory talking to Don Gaelga, who will work in small groups and they go over one to one. So where I asked in the survey for some parents, if they felt a student might be struggling a bit, no harm to put your name down, at least then we can uh, make lists and see where those students are. So if you didn't get a chance to fill in that survey, please do. And at least that gives us a basis and a starting point to help students. We'll also be doing agalogs or kind of informal interviews with every student. And from that, we'll be building a kind of profile of the students. And um, and then we'll be seeing how they're getting on and, and hopefully we'll see an incremental improvement in their in their Gaelga as she did arrive. Um, on Gaelga, some advice, I suppose, on my hai hain, tashe tov to gwil me derfok suwala, that we're positive at home in relation to Irish, that whether you've no Irish, and we will be trying to help parents as well over the next few years as well, um, that you're trying to learn a few words yourself, you know, that you're trying to, I suppose, come to the office, le dia gwit kunasa tov to, you know, and we will help you with that, and there's no pressure on parents. But if we, if if that is the kind of starting point at home, and the students see the parents trying, well, that definitely helps with the Gaelga in the school as well. So, just that's the main points uh, of uh, what I wanted to get across to you uh, at this point. Um, from the survey, there was many questions. Um, are uh, any additional supports available to, chi to a child with additional needs? Yes. As I said, make sure you contact Leona and at the email there, leona.deborka at uatb.e. Do you have to play an instrument to, to do music uh, as a subject? No, you do not. There's no issue with that. So they'll all get to try music as part of the taster sessions for the first 10 weeks. And then we will, um, we will, uh, then they can make a decision to take up music. In the event of issues or concerns about a child, is there a contact? Yes, look, we're all here to help you. Yeah, Michal and Mark Gon, who was talking to you earlier on, is the year head, and Michal's there to help uh, from a year point of view. As you said, if it's a subject point of view, when you when they get to a timetable, you'll see the teachers they have, and really, if it's a subject, we generally discuss it with the teacher at that level. Um, and then we have uh, Idi Ranga, the class tutors, we have the year head, we have a deputy principal, and we have a principal, myself, and then we have uh, a, a garden drawer, Corlock, we have a career guidance counsellor as well, Patricia in the school, who is available for students to meet one on one and discuss issues with her. So she's a very integral part to her pastoral care uh, set up in the school. Um, school transport, as Michal went through, slide number five, information there. And please, the closing date for that is the end of April. So it's very important that if you're living more than 4.5 kilometres from the school, um, that you apply for the school uh, transport. Uh, through the, the link on the website there, or on this uh, survey here. Um, uh, as I said, 10 weeks of sampling subjects, and then they make their decisions. Uh, is there a support for students that may be struggling with any subjects? Yes, most definitely. And I think the key thing here is not to leave it too late. No, fun row other. What happened to it with five, uh, again, Delta, if you're struggling for some reason, please contact the subject teacher first, at least let them know. How would you do that? The most, the, the best way to do it to start off is use the diary. There's a place in the diary and we'll be showing the students for teachers and uh, parents to send a note to each other. Um, and then from then on, we have obviously our Idi Rang, our class tutors, who you will we'll be uh, sharing the information with you in early September, and Michal as the year head and so on. Uh, and But don't leave it too late. That's the most important thing. And then the book list. Um, very important, we're reviewing the book list at the moment. And again, as I said, that information will be put up on the school website at the start of May, and I'll let you know exactly when that's up on the website. Um, a few more questions, Erlina, just now at the moment. Is there swimming? We don't do swimming as a subject uh, or during the school. We do have a swim team. So often people swim with shark. I, was, I used to swim myself uh, before school at half six in the morning for years uh, as part of the swimming club. So I appreciate the swimmers here. Um, but we don't actually have uh, swimming classes in school. Um, uh, can a child go home for lunch break if they live close to school? So good question. And uh, and we know that uh, any student uh, from first year to fourth year, they must stay inside the school grounds. Uh, and then for students in fifth and sixth year, they can leave the school grounds and we'll get back to that later on. 
I'm a club draw me to Siskel. Kishma, we don't have a club draw me to Siskel. It might be a nice idea. Uh, it's, a, it's a it's a good idea. We do obviously have, and we hope to get it back this year, a TY drama um, or TY musical. And and then, as you might have seen for the new Leave Insert, uh, drama is a new subject uh, that's been proposed for the new revised Leave Insert, which is starting in 2023. So um, we, we might be gearing our curriculum more that way in the future. I want you to talk about all in the hover at all. Is it hard to get the subjects you want? As I said, we do our best to give students, you know, at least their first preference, that everybody gets their first preference and then uh, either the second or third preference. Um, so, and if there's a space in the class, we can obviously make a change. But what I would say is let them sample all the subjects over the 10 weeks and I'll be talking to you in late September again about uh, how they decide and really what way they should decide. And you know, you're thinking forward to senior cycle as well at that stage. Um, what are the penalties if a student speaks English in the school? Oh, well, Neil Arian aimed in a barrel of school. Nobody speaks English ever in the school. Now, that would be lovely if we had it that way, but we, um, the penalties, we, we try to look on the positive side and we're trying to build in as many positive um, uh, actions uh, and repercussions, I suppose, if possible, uh, uh, for people speaking English. But we do run in Willow Berla, which will be at lunchtime on a Thursday. So if the student is constantly being caught speaking English, you know, we, ha we, we do have something there to say, look, you know, uh, we have a, a lunchtime uh, class that they must attend and hopefully they learn from that. If a student is struggling, that's a different issue, you know, and we do, you know, with the first years, we want them to settle in and be happy and not be afraid of these rules, you know, so uh, I wouldn't worry about that uh, at this stage, but we do want them to speak Irish as a social language during the school. We want them to start up on the right footing, which is really important. And, you know, and it's very important for them, I suppose, to speak the language outside the classroom so that they improve their Irish and then I suppose they find uh, Irish within the classes easier than at that point. Um, is German an, an option for a language? Unfortunately, it's not. Um, we're, I suppose, maxed out on options for the size of school we have. Uh, we run 17 optional language or subjects for lead and search, which is a huge amount for the size of school we have. And uh, we just, uh, unfortunately, we, uh, uh, German is not an option at the moment. Um, Kevin Dalsi, if it's name wrong one, then care wrong the Kevin and Keshwarish. So, if we all heard Tom needs fake in their heart, their fair shock Dalta in knock wrong the Kevin. So, the care wrong the fair four class of 27 uh, in the first year at present. Can you provide a high, uh, yeah, can you provide a high level summary of each of the choice subjects to help with the prioritization? So, again, what I'd say is. Wait till the end of September when we'll be discussing this over an information session again, and we'll be going into more detail in relation to different subjects at that point. Okay. Um, are we learning a new uniform a in Kampa? Kish to Anua, hadn't thought about, but no. Do we need to wear the school uniform uh, at Dollar and Kampa? No, you don't. Okay. Hopefully it'll be like Barbados or somewhere in the Caribbean here. Uh, we have a fabulous setup here in the school, and when it's sunny, we have a lovely courtyard at the back. We have a fabulous sports hall with plenty of room and hopefully just nice weather for uh, for tracksuit shorts, whatever the weather is like, um, but we'll cater for it. But no, they don't need the uniform for the compa. Um, <clears throat> the uniform will start on the first day back, which will be the Friday when the students return. So, um, and Kisternak, no, Shin Kisternak. So, Shin Kisternak at all, Gwyn, good issue. Mota Kisternak ele Gwyn, Karifos Kuhn, send me an email and I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, if I don't have the answer, I'll find out the answer and get back to you. Prishan, I want to just highlight, uh, Dave, that uh, the different, I suppose, social media we use, and we'd love if you tagged us or liked us and uh, become uh, friends with us on the different um, social media. Uh, we have Steve Grease on the Scholar, www.closhandcurva.ie. This is where I suppose our main policies and our main documents are put up there. And then our main note, and I say school note about subject choices uh, and important information like that, exam information maybe for the unicerts and unicerts are put up there. Um, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram are used for, I suppose, uh, uh, the activities that go on the school. And uh, if you're on Twitter, please follow us. If you're on Facebook, please follow us. If you're on Instagram, Nan and Impression. And then uh, I suppose you'll get a flavour of what we're doing at the moment. And then starting September, you'll start seeing the first years 
your own son or daughter and activities that you're doing and their story, I suppose, is, is shared through those sites. Um, so just a quick note, that's a bit of a quick note, as Gumila Malga, Tasha Vinshaw, Big Mac, Ura Klig. So Marta Lucha and uh, Lua, and the most important things for you, I suppose, as a parent is we start on Friday, um, uh, I said the 29th, and that should be Friday the 26th, Tasha Kart Sagrega, so the 26th is the Friday, at the A45 to 5 to 2. So no the students, they have a full day with us here, and there'll be an induction day where they get their timetables, as I say below there, what they do, uh, the school tour, they'll get their diaries, they'll um, see the timetable and they'll be walking around to see what rooms they're in, what locations, what teachers they have, and um, they'll get to know their new friends. Hopefully, Trish and Kampa, they'll have met these friends and just it'll be so much easier to set settle in and start uh, on a new day. And we know it's a big move. We totally understand that some students are coming from small schools, some are coming from big schools, and we know that can be difficult. But that's what the Kampa is. That's what that kind of transition day is. And then we have our cannery, our fifth year Cordis leaders that will be there over those first few days. And for the next couple of weeks, they'll be coming into classes and actually teaching them as teachers. And we found that was very good last year and we want to develop that again this year. So then they're back on the Monday, um, uh, the Luna and the 29th, so that's uh, the Monday, and they're back for a full day and they're back every day after that. So the main thing is Friday the 26th is the first day of school, okay? So we'll be putting an information pack on the school website, um, Laura Lista, uh, books, uh, what they need, school clothes, um, the school calendar, any information like that will be uh, up on the school website uh, early May. And as I said, I will contact you by text and email uh, to let you know that that information is there for you. In the meantime, Mata in question with any uh, board or worry, you know, at this stage, um, uh, you, you've got a number of people you can contact here, Michal as, uh, as their year head, um, Marion and Janice are in the office if you have some issue that you know that uh, they will be able to answer as well within the uh, uh, in the office hours. Uh, myself, there you have my email as well, and then you have Leona uh, in relation to any uh, learning support or weakness special to. Um, so they're the people to approach. And don't be afraid, as I said, no question is too small. Um, just ring us, and we'll get back to you. And uh, we have a few months now before start of school year, and you know we want everybody to be, I suppose. Uh, content and they know what they're doing. So just contact us and we're here to help you in any way we can. So I suppose class of 2028, go, go why is it there? Well, I suppose this is the graduation class uh, that we will have with this new group of first years at Chocta Chocta School. OK, it seems like a long, long way away. A six year journey, and I suppose where are we going? over these next six years with the students. I suppose for me, I have three young kids of my own uh, and they're not even at the secondary school level yet. But uh, as I wish, uh, my only goal for them is that they be healthy, happy and safe. You know, and that's what I, I suppose I pray for every night that, that that's what uh, happens to them every day and in their future. But I have the same goals and same wishes for, for your son and daughters coming in here. You know, that number one, that they're, they're healthy, at all times in the school, that they're safe and they feel safe, that the atmosphere uh, it, it, it allows for that. And most importantly, that they're happy. Now, you can talk about academics, you can talk about grades, you can talk about everything, but without those three things, none of those things ever happen. So if we can get those three things right, you know, focus on their well-being, you know, develop those students, you know, the learning will happen over time. OK, so that's what I'm saying. The, uh, my promise and we try and we get things wrong we try again and we keep going that's the goal of the school is to make sure that they're healthy happy and safe and if we do that i know the learning will happen i know the students will develop and they'll reach their potential and i suppose the cash wall is what is that potential and every potential is different some it might be the leading cert some it might be high grades some it won't and that's okay but as long as on Esh Paris to talk of that experience that they have over the six years, that they leave this school happy, safe, and healthy, and content that their journey has been a brilliant journey, then I'm happy. And whatever they achieve is, you know, that's okay with us. 
as long as they reach their potential, whatever potential that is. So, I'm going to share. I'm going to leave you at that point, and I hope that just enough that you got a good taste of, I suppose, where we're going with uh, our incoming firsters. That we're really looking forward to meeting them. Uh, we've had a hard two years with COVID, and the wrong a shape we lost her the students at sixth class. They've had a hard two years with COVID as well, and we understand that there's going to be implications with that as well as they come into first year. So there's no issue. We're well aware of that, but. Uh, for them, Nadal takes Ian Chin, as Bumele Ang Kudov Saskolna, to make Tanu go Bulalib, to make Tanu go make crack of spree against the skull, go make a foam goma, go make a sport goma, but just go make Gaktina, Sosta, uh, Snarangna, Agus go make Taurus, Intakacha, that the, the students will have a great journey um, starting September until we're talking again about the class of 2028 in a couple of years' time uh, when we get to that stage. So, I can point to Shane Tommy Conslon, or well, Mubuika Sagual, Own, Mihal, Agus Leona, Asukta Velum, and Ut, Mubuika Slib, and Tishmori, and Quavenori, and Mamol, Dados, and most importantly, Mubuika Slim Adalti, the students, for sitting in tonight, a fake and during Scotland and show. I just want to thank the students, especially, because they're the ones I really want to talk to and that they feel at home, I suppose. Uh, coming to the school next September. Um, as I said, this PowerPoint will be on the school website uh, shortly after the, uh, this presentation. Um, I'll be sending a text and email in early May with regard to when the information will be on the school website about school books and school uniform. And I said, if you're unsure about anything, please call Glakering, uh, Tommy and Chuck and Carol. Uh, and before I go, I just I see two or three little questions that come in there. Uh, are all sports done through Irish? Yeah, the whole idea of, you know, a great clash is that we do everything through Irish. And the importance of doing the sports through Irish is that they are developing their Irish informally without them knowing it, and they will benefit them within the classes. What is the policy on phones in the school? Students are not allowed to have phones on them from uh, 8.45 until half three. So it's very important that we would prefer first years that they don't bring phones at all. Um, they they cause issues. If a parent needs to ring a student, they ring the office and Marion and Janice are there and we can get the student and they can come down to the office and we can phone there for students to ring home. So please, please uh, uh, tell the students, leave the phone at home. There's no need for them, you know, especially in first year, second year, third year. Uh, if we had a choice, we'd have no phones uh, at all. But we understand that students need to be picked up after school and and information they need information uh, before and after school and that's okay but during school no phones at all i make car and goes to run kena yes we try to make sure that the students have a friend or two uh, uh, in the same classes from the same schools as well but we try to mix them up as well because it's really important for sure that at the start they have a chance to make these new friendships and uh, and, and it works quite well um is there a facility to buy books second hand through the school uh, at the moment, we don't. Sometimes we get books in. If we do, we put them up on the website and we let parents know that these books are available. Um, and in Kist, Ella and Shin. No, Shin the Kist, no Quilor. So, look, Tasha Kultra, she hooked, more dirt me. Tommy the Tanu Gumor, the Bula Lena Dalti. Looking forward to meeting the students in at our summer camp. And then on the Friday the 26th, looking forward to meeting you, the parents, uh, at our information session in September. We'll also be organising a coffee morning or uh, a, a coffee or tea morning in the school some morning where parents can come in sit down have a chat first and then we'll be inviting the students down as well to meet the mommies and daddies and uh, guardians and uh, and we haven't done that for a while but i think it's a nice idea of developing community within the school so look um shin will wemsha uh grimila malga varish was grimalgut uh as up to very lower august bermid lower to live below so slonev august uh